Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'd like to show you iOS 7 Beta 4 on an iPad 2. iPad 2, I mean, it's not cool anymore. It hasn't got a retina display and no i6x chip and no lightning connector. Well guys, there are actually some people out there that can't always afford a new iPad. So, because of these reasons that this is the oldest iPad that supports iOS 7, Apple always ditch these uh, with fixing bugs in the beta versions, which is okay, you know. So this is really the first version that actually runs very good. Beta 3 was okay, there were, there were a lag and uh, it was crashing sometimes and App Switcher had problems. I haven't seen this on that one. Um, so for comparison, I've got an iPhone 5 here. Obviously, it's not mine. Um, this has got the full support. Everything is supported on this one. Um, so, in the first, you can see it doesn't look a lot different. Um, it's got the same style, and the iPad 2 has got an A5 processor. So that allows you to have these 3D things. And as you can see, it moves in the background. And uh, that does not happen on the iPhone 4. So we will still get this. As you can see, it's, it's pretty awesome, I think. And the icons look, they were like following you. Same in the lock screen, if you want to know. So here it is. Pretty cool. So that works on here just fine. Again, wasn't working that fine on beta 2. And beta 3 was alright. Um, slide to unlock. Was always not uh, fine on this one. Until now, beta 4. So, on here, this runs almost like the release. There's absolutely... There are really no bugs which are fatal or just make it, in, you know, impossible to use. There are, like, some bugs, you know, like... Sometimes it lags quite a little bit, but uh, this really this battery is smooth. There is absolutely no problem with this. And guys, this has been here like this on since I believe beta one because it's made for the iPhone five, obviously still. And on here, the apps are opening up now a lot smoother, and they're closing a lot smoother. There is no lag, uh, and that's what always pissed me off on my iPhone four as well. My iPhone 4 also had these issues um, when I like scroll through pages. That was fixed on beta 3, uh, but when I opened like an app, it was like lagging just a little bit, just that it pisses you off. And that has been here the same, but now they, they fixed it, and that is pretty cool. So what I also had happen on here is that uh, animation was lost when I open up um, folders from the dock and this is also not the case anymore um, so obviously this is an iPad 2 and it will not get Siri so if you're asking for this I think the new Siri looks pretty sweet you can see there um, it, it's kind of transparent I like that um, and a little nice thing that improved the control center is now smooth this is so much of a deal, I tell you that, guys. Um, this is very handy. And also the notification center, which is just so much better than the iOS 6 and 5 one. Um, this also works smooth now. So all these things I've mentioned now, I believe, they were absolutely not smooth. They were, they were better in Beta 3, but they were still not perfect. And now they are... I would say so. I mean, they're battery smooth. There's absolutely no problem with these. Um, and uh, obviously, I wasn't expecting that to happen. I mean, um, Apple always like does it on the last beta or so, you know, supporting the, the older devices that support it still. Um, and obviously, the iPhone 4 and the iPad 2 are these devices. Um, and also a bug I noticed that they fixed is when I open up a bigger app that requires a little more power or any kind of gaming app or this Volkswagen app here. 
full music. When I close the app switcher, and I wouldn't, you know, I want to close the app, and I double click it, now it works. But previously it did not. It was just showing. Just let me close to give you an idea. It was showing only this page and nothing else. I don't know if that happened to you, but in all betas before it happened to me that um, there there was just no nothing to close, or even though it was running, and it was there were also sometimes it, it wasn't even showing the animation; it was just showing nothing. There was absolutely nothing then, and I had to reboot it, and then it could close it. So it also fixed that. It's very nice to see. So this is definitely a good update if you've got an iPad 2, I would say. Also the camera app has been improved quite a bit. Now it doesn't lag again uh, when you switch between these. That is also something really nice. Um, and also, these little things like fading, they work. Now previous beta, this was lagging as well. So this works also now very smooth and absolutely no bug now but in the previous one again this lacked quite a bit um, so all in all I would say if you've got an iPad 2 you should definitely update it to a beta 4 uh, it's definitely a lot better than beta beta 2 and beta 3 on here there is there are no no lagging issue anymore it's a lot faster the battery life is a lot better I forgot to mention that it has been improved since beta 2 I know Quite a bit, obviously, uh, but on beta four, I charged it up. Um, I believe yesterday around 4 p.m. and now I still got 88 percent. And I played with around with it, obviously, and I installed the beta and stuff. So that the battery did, did quite improve on that one. So um, also, I forgot to mention that. Got in my list here. The spotlight search is still not perfect. Um, <laughs> this is actually pretty interesting. This works on the iPhone 4 now a lot smoother. Um, when it comes going, like when I lock it and unlock it again, and then search for it, it lags. Oh, now it doesn't, of course. <laughs> um, but on here, you will see, you don't get this back. This is almost perfect on here there's no lag whatsoever so this is of course now when I'm making a video it is perfect but believe me it's not always that smooth now it actually is well it's nice if it stays like this but it I know it it won't <laughs> so the last thing I'm gonna show you you will get on this iPad 2 as a feature of iOS 7 is the transparent keyboard you will also not get uh, that on an iPad, f uh, iPad 4, iPhone 4. As you can see the see-through keyboard. I think this is so awesome. Um, I know, believe me, I know my A A4 chip very, very well, and I know this could happen. Uh, this could render this easily because I had a jailbreak tweak which did almost the same, which had like a glass keyboard and you could see through it. Um, and also, I don't know if it could do the 3D, I guess so, I mean, it's just a gyroscope and it's built in the iPhone 4 as well, and every iPhone before. <laughs> um, Apple just takes away features from older devices, I can't stress that enough, and obviously there will be jailbreak tweaks that, if the iOS 7 can be jailbroken, that they will enable, like, this 3D maybe, or, um, the transparent keyboard um, or again a Siri port um, what you actually saw is that this is still also not very smooth but it did definitely improve so it, it's still a little bit of a lag you can not compare that still to iOS 6 and 5 and 4 what I've been uh, using on here but uh, I think that's acceptable as long as the apps don't always um, lag anymore so this has been my little review of the iOS 7 Beta 4 on an iPad 2. It is very, very good now. You can definitely use it now. 
uh, but on here it's just beastie I would say this is like the perfect device to use it on still and uh, this is still not perfect you can see I can't go in every freaking bag I could find but still there are some that can piss you off still um, also with the clock with the timer it crashes the springboard sometimes when it goes off so I don't know if they fix that but again um, thank you for watching I'll I don't know if I will make one uh, about the iPhone 4 um, but there are quite a few videos out there which are to do that I believe so yeah I hope you like it and I'll see you in the next video guys peace out